Sending in a fragile Fraulein to fight for them. Fragile? So what if Peggy Carter, Steve Rogers' love interest, ended up becoming the first Avenger? Well, we got a treat for you. Also, what if we found some mistakes in that show as well? Well, we got them both here for you, so you're in luck. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you a few of the mistakes that we found in... Follow me and ponder the question... What if? What if Captain Carter was the first Avenger? And just a quick FYI, this show was amazing. I, I absolutely love it. I absolutely recommend you watch it. And as always, remember to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Now we'll keep you notified of all of our up and coming videos. So for our first mistake, Steve is about to become the first super soldier. As you can see here, Peggy stands in the back to watch the experiment while this guy in the tie is slightly to the right. Nothing unusual about that except for when the camera angle switches back over to Peggy, we can see that the guy is now to the left of her for some reason. Maybe he wanted a better view of the show. Staying in the same scene after all the chaos ensues, Peggy jumps into the machine to make herself the next super soldier so that the serum doesn't go to waste, as we can see here. It's being ejected into her body. But when we get a shot of her from a distance, we can see that the vials are now full again when they were just empty previously. Maybe she needed like a second shot or a second dose of serum? Who knows? And a couple of scenes later, we can see Stark pays Peggy a visit in the bar. He reaches down and gives her a present that's in a shoebox, but notice the design on the shoebox when he gives it to her. As she opens it, revealing her new uniform, we can see now the design on the box has changed for some reason. Not really sure why the animators couldn't keep that straight, but we're going to chalk this up as a mistake. So just after the fight scene, the captain and the crew gathers around to see Steve's new toy. And who do you think is going to appear in the back here? So just as Steve pops out of the robot that looks like the Iron Giant, we can see that there are several other guys that appear in the background for some reason. Maybe they just needed some fillers or something? Uh, you tell me. In this scene with the Germans, Schultz is being yelled at by this guy, but notice he gets shot in the gut. So make a mental note that there's nobody to their right, but as these two guys pull out their weapons, they're guys that appear out of nowhere, everywhere for some reason. We do know that there were other guys in the room, but they were nowhere near them when this whole thing jumped off. In this part of the show, Peggy and Steve are starting to get to know one another over drinks. Make a mental note that her drink is just in front of her, not, not anywhere near Steve. But when the camera angle switches from Steve back over to her, you can see that her drink has moved a little bit more to the left. I mean, maybe she's trying to get a little bit closer to Steve? We know how she feels about him, right? So with even more spoilers in tow, this train explosion scene was pretty dope. So dope in fact that this guy with the green hat just so happens to vanish in the next shot. Don't worry ladies and gentlemen, he does make a comeback but not integral to the plot at all. Coming to the end of the episode, Peggy, or Captain Carter, is attacked by a giant octopus. Notice that there's nothing on the wall to help protect Peggy from the giant octopus. It appears to me that she's in trouble. But boy, it is just her luck that somebody put a sword there all of a sudden. Kinda weird that it would just appear out of nowhere, but who am I to judge? In this mistake, Peggy, or Captain Carter again, is about to be eaten by a giant octopus. Steve busts through the floor in his uh, Iron Giant costume, and he and Peggy are very happy to see one another. So much so that they're willing to waste time reminiscing instead of him maybe, I don't know, um, saving her life. Yeah, they even got Howard Stark into the act, even so much so that they give the octopus time to attack him. Kind of crazy. And in our final mistake, Peggy asked Steve to save the guys. So as you can see here with your own two eyes, he scoops up three of them and takes them away to safety. But it just so happens, it wasn't three guys. Now all of a sudden, it was five, when it was just three just one second ago. Go get him, Steve. 
So what did you think of What If Peggy Carter Was the First Avenger? Did you enjoy it? Let us know in the comment section below what you would rate this show from 1 to 10. 10 being super fabulous. Once again, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We'll keep you notified of all of our up and coming videos. This is Lee from Moving Mistakes signing out. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time.